Good day YouTube is um Dramola and I just want to quickly share with you how you could quickly um you know create introduction to your song, your compose songs via the use of arpeggios. So the first thing is what are arpeggios? Well uh, um uh, arpeggios are broken chords, you know. You play the uh individual notes of a chord, so you play them singly. For example, uh, okay, um, I was playing the key of D flat major, right? So D flat major, that would be. Right? So I was playing the key of D flat major. So what is an arpeggio? For example, the one chord in the key of D flat major, which is the D flat major chord, is where? The D flat triad. D flat major triad. So if I were to play an arpeggio, I would do this. Rather than play straight up the D flat major triad as this, right? I'll play this. Or, 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 whatever I part you're in, right? So, so long as I'm breaking down, uh, breaking up the notes of the chord, I'm playing arpeggios. That, uh, those are what arpeggios are, right? So, what, what did I. Right? So the the pattern I was using, I was just playing this note singing. I was going in five five three one five three one. You know the five is your pinky, your three is your middle finger, and your one is your thumb. So I was going five three one five three one five three one five three one five three one. Yeah, that was the part I was using. I might decide to go um, one, three, five, right? As uh, me decided to play a uh, A flat sauce today. All right. So depending on your course, you could have a there. But another thing you could also do is you could have a team. A team, you know, a team is like uh, like a lead line that kind of captures um, uh, the emotions of the song. For example, the lead line, a lead line could be anything. For example, that same, uh, I, I might decide to do this as a lead line. Uh, Another way you could, I'm showing you steps, um, the sequential steps you should practice if you want to really get this flow to, to, to flow in your fingers. You know, don't just rush to cramp, just take one step at a time. But you could do this. So, what was I doing? I held the chords and I was playing. They say the lead line, right? So, right? So, to the one, so I'm on the six, the A minor chord, uh, the B flat minor chord, sorry. Again, I go do this here. But when I'm playing this, I'm adding the nine. So, this, this will be the new chord I'm playing. G flat, fire, 
uh, G flat, uh, G flat major nine here. So uh, G flat major nine is, 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 is this, with this. But I'm playing the the A flat right here down. So we have this. Um, but then I voice it this way. I play the uh, G flat down, uh, right to the one. Then, yeah. So you get that. I keep holding the chords, but then playing the lead line. That's that's another way you could do it. Another way now is for me to play arpeggios and lead lines. For example, uh, see, or let's stick to the minor minor triad. B flat minor triad. Right? I go. Right? I want, I want to do. So it's like I'm alternating between arpeggiating and playing the lead line. Now, let me show you what I did. See the fingering? Uh, I hope you can see. You have the D flat to the B flat uh, to the E flat to the F. Alternate between your your uh, arpeggios and your lead line. All right. So it's just all about the way you you, think, you position your fingers to play. So you have to work on your fingerings. Uh, one thing I'm going to advise is to have to play and this um, styling. You know, you should work on your progressions. For example, like if you were to keep play something like um, okay, let's see, let's see one that we require. Uh, for example, same progression. I want to, you want, you want to keep it at, you want to keep the lean, I also want to play progression. It will sound like something like, uh, let's see. So that, that uh, uh, the 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 lead line will still maintain. So I have a problem with it. Anyway, skip it. So bear, bear with me this key, my you know my tree trigger. Uh, I'm here, you know, I'll service it now for next video. All right. All right. So I I did. thing is sometimes you might have to change the chords you 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 arpeggiate right depending on on the the way the main line is moving because there are, there are some certain chords that are much more convenient to get at than others for example now I, I did this right I covered this concept in uh, I think one of my little video I think on I life yeah you could you can you could harmonize your melodies by keeping by inverting chords. Yeah, you, you could invert just the basic triads. You can invert. It depends on you know your vocabulary of chords. You can invert whatever chord to give you that particular uh, sound you want, but always keeping the melody on top. So, mm -hmm. right, and the chords I choose for for my. Uh, harmonization was this 
the D flat major triad first inversion, the A flat uh, major triad, the uh, third, uh, second inversion, second inversion of the G flat major triad, right? And then I, I went to the uh, D major uh, triad root. I went to the uh, first inversion of the G flat uh, major triad to the uh, first version of the D flat major, uh, second version of D flat major triad, right? So again. So I see the, the, the progression reading right down while, I'm, while I was playing this. I try to use open chord uh, voices right around the block. Open voice just for the for these inversions I've chosen, you just leave out the middle notes. That's the open voice voicing of, of the chords I played earlier. So you could do that. Now I was I was appreciating and playing the melody lines, the doors. Oh. Right? So right? Appreciated the four. Oh. Right? Appreciated the four. Your 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 style might be different. See, right? right? So, to what I played earlier, that was the concept I applied. Very simple. Uh, what I played again, I think I played. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I did. Uh, yeah, I did. My lead here. Right? Then I was happy, JT. Why should you earlier? I, I I was using inversions to make it comfortable for me to easily play the lead note. You know, that's just it. You know, I just use the appropriate inversion. I'm still keeping chord structure, six, four, one, five. I'm just using the appropriate inversion that gives me the closest, you know, uh, heat to the, to the lead notes, right? So... Let me, let me just show you that slow. Let me show you. Can you see that? Actually, the chord, you know, the basic G flat major triad chord, right? But then I I left out this, you know, for convenience. You could you could decide to have this anyway, right? simple.